Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about butternut squash and how to select the best butternut squash and how to store it once you get it home. When you're shopping for butternut squash, you obviously want to check them out and pick one that is free of blemishes or mold or decay of any sort. And you also want to find one that feels heavy for its size. That's going to be the best one to take home for you. Now, when you get it home, it's going to keep well in a cool, dry, dark place. The ideal storage temperature is anywhere from 50 to 68 degrees. Now, obviously, most of our homes are warmer than that, but perhaps not in the winter months in our basements, something like that. Freshly picked butternut squash can be stored in those conditions for up to six months. But if you don't know the age of your squash, most of them will keep from anywhere from one to three months well when kept dry, cool, and dark, okay? Now, if you notice any mold starting to appear on your squash, if it's not too bad, you can cut that mold out, throw that part away, and then uh, eat the rest of the squash, cook it, prepare it and cook it and eat the rest of the squash, it should be fine. If the whole thing is moldy, please don't eat that, I didn't tell you to do that. Throw it away. When in doubt, do without and throw it away, okay? Now sometimes commercial growers will wax their squash in order to help to extend the, sh the shelf life of it and deter mold. If your squash that you buy doesn't appear to have a wax coating on there, you can actually do something yourself. You can give it a very, very light coating of oil. First, you want to wash it really well and make sure it's completely dry. Even let it dry for a day if you want you to make sure it's completely dry. And then coat the entire thing with a very, very thin coating of oil of your choice, whatever you want. Thin coating. Then you want to buff it off. Okay, you don't want it to feel oily, but you want it to look on the shiny side when you're done. So after you coat it with oil, buff it off and just make sure it's just shiny looking but not oily feeling. And that will help to extend the shelf life of it and deter mold as long as it was completely dry before you do that. Once you cut your squash, if you have not cooked it, you need to tightly wrap it up either with plastic wrap or put it in an airtight container and store it in the refrigerator and use it within a week, okay? If you've cooked your butternut squash and you have some leftover and you put it in the refrigerator, put, in, put it in a good refrigerator airtight container and use it within three to five days and it should be fine for you. If you want to preserve beyond that any extra cooked butternut squash, put it in an airtight container and put it in your freezer and it'll keep for 10 to 12 months. Beyond that, it will still be good to eat, but the quality may uh, dwindle some at that point in time. So, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.